Sunday, New Year's Eve, and uh, we just got back last night from picking up a new uh, project car. I've already got one, but uh, I wanted to pick up another one so I could document from stock all the way to three second draggy times. Um, I've I've been low fives with a stock pulley tune only with drag radial GT500. My goal is to get this one into the fours. Uh, so let's go check it out real quick before I unload it and do my first draggy hit. Literally just got it back from South Florida last night. It's on the trailer now. I'm going to drop it, uh, drop it off the trailer, kind of look it over and then go uh, and go get this draggy party started. It's a 2021 carbon fiber track pack. Has a couple little stickers and stuff. I'm gonna take all that off. I'm pretty picky with my cars. It's got signature forged wheels and not the carbon fiber wheels. The car is a little over 3,000 miles. It's bone stock other than like a subwoofer upgrade. I'm really happy with it. I got what I feel is a really good deal. And I have a lot planned for this car, guys. I'm not gonna go crazy with it but I had an orange carbon fiber track pack car and I, I just enjoyed it so much taking it from stock down to 380s, 60 to 130 uh, with a Whipple. So um, I'm going to kind of repeat the process with this one, but I'm probably not going to do a Whipple. Uh, I really want to do a twin turbo build. So, you know, down the road, I think that that's going to be what, what, uh, what this car is, is, is a twin turbo setup. It's on Michelin stock tires. Um, well, again, it's bone stock car. So it just has a, a subwoofer and an amp and stuff in the trunk. Um, 60 to 130, I would love a low seven. So uh, I love doing this bench race stuff. I'm gonna guess a 737, 60 to 130. My, uh, my last uh, 2020 carbon fiber track pack car stock went 770. 7.70, 60 to 130. All right, here we go. This will be the first time I've even driven this car other than putting it on the trailer and off the trailer. Uh, I've got a mount set up. I had to spend some time figuring out how I was gonna lay everything out. I put the tires at 20 PSI in the back. They're the Michelin PS4s, I believe they are. So I uh, put those at 20 PSI. Seems to be a pretty good um, spot for tire pressure on a Michelin when you're, when you're doing this type of stuff on a decent surface. So the goal on this car with a stock supercharger pulley with no porting um, is to go fours. Um, we'll see what happens. Holy! Alright, that's my last hit. I am a 
tires, man. Woo! It's a, it's a, it's a little bit. All right, there you have it. Those are the first results on this 2021 Carbon Fiber Track Pack GT500. The car is bone stock. I do this because it is actually slower than bone stock. It has heavier wheels on it. So the original owner must have taken the carbon fiber track pack uh, wheels and tires off to, to recoup some money. That was a popular thing to do. I even did that on my first one. Um, let's get into these results. I want to make this a really quick intro video. So the first hit I tried, it was a failed 11.9 at like 102. Um, right after that pass, I, I decided that I'm not going to focus on dig stuff. I'm not trying to stop and do burnouts and have time. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm stopping and going, man. So I don't care to spend time on that on stock tire stuff. I'm going to stick to the 60 to 130 until I get a drag pack on here. I'm not, I'm just not, I don't have any interest to go online and say, Hey you guys, this car went a 1092 bone stock, whatever. I mean, there's so many stock drag race results out there that it gets, it muddies the water. 60 to 130 is a draggy only thing. So for this scenario, um, until I get a drag pack on the car, then I'll start focusing on that and also going to the drag strip. Let's talk about these 60 to 130 results. My last car was in the mid sevens bone stock. It was a 2020 GT 500 track pack car. Um, and I was on the stock wheels, but it was in August a couple years ago. And it was my, I only spent like a week doing a couple stock pulls just to learn the car. And that car was a mid seven second car. Okay. This car is way faster, but the density altitude is so much better right now. When I was making those passes a couple years ago, it was like 3000 DA, super high humidity, 90 degrees out. These passes were 61 degrees and anywhere from 40 to 100 DA. We're almost at sea level of DA basically. Okay. So it's great air. It's dry out. The sun's out. Um, the first pass went a 718. And I was impressed. I was like, I looked over and I was like, is that real? So that's a valid pass. It's a half a percent uh, slope. Everything's good on that pass. I mean, it's a, it looks like a drag strip almost on the, on the, on the graph. Now on the next pass, uh, well, both passes, the, the, the seven one and the seven two, they were chattery. I don't know if you can tell in the videos that are shown, but it was a little chatter. It was a little bit of short shifting and stuff. And it was like, okay, the car's moving, but it wasn't like that pass where you're like, wow, this is it. Um, if you watched my C8 Corvette video, when it went a 1099, that was the pass where I was going, oh, wow, this is great. You know, this is a good pass. That's how I just felt on that 687. So on the 726, it was the same thing. Um, it had like some chatter to it. It was short shifting and stuff. The graph doesn't look nice and smooth. All of the lines on these draggy graphs, you want them to look nice and smooth. Now, the 687, uh, I don't know what everybody else runs online. I don't know what the best stock time is. That's a really good time, okay? Um, I was already modded on my last one before I got into the sixes. Again, the DA was up there. So it is not apples to apples, um, you know, and that may come back to, to haunt me on this car if I'm starting out in this really good air and then springtime comes around and the air is horrible and it's humid again. And then, you know, people are going to be like, well, you're not going any faster with all your upgrades. So it'll take like a whole year to swing back around and say, okay, hey, I'm in the same DA now. But that's okay. You guys can follow along with all the mods and stuff. And, you know, you'll put two and two together. And I'll talk about the results each and every time like that. So, anyways, the 687, um, the 718, the 726, and the 687, they're all valid. No excessive slope. Satellites were good. Everything's great. Um, the 687 graph, if you look at that one, it has that little instant spike. And it went 60 to 70 at a 0.7 instead of a 0.86 or whatever. So, it dead hooked. It went and everything was perfect. It shifted smooth. It did everything good. So right when it happened, I was like, okay, yeah, this is a good pass. It felt really clean. Um, to, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but um, when I decided to focus on the 60 to 130s and scrap the digs, uh, the, the quarter mile, I decided to go back to my proven, which is track mode and everything off. So, um, you know, when you're tuned, you'll use manual shifting, but I'm using auto shifting. So the way I'm doing this is I put it in track mode and then I hold the traction control off button up for about 10 seconds until it says advanced track off on the dash. So that way there's nothing kicking in. Um, if it hazes the tires, it hazes the tires that might short shift, you know, might heat up the tires so you can make another run. 
So that being said, that's the best for me, 60 to 130 always. Even on all three of my GT500s, they've always been the best in track mode. Um, but back to this 687, that's almost a full second better than my orange car was, my 2020, when I was in this same type of configuration. Again, that car had carbon fiber wheels, but the DA was high. Um, I mean, you know, when I get a, dra when I get a drag pack on this car and save a little bit of weight with no other changes and better air, cause I'm, I'm sure it's going to get into the forties here soon. I'm going to have to whip out the bench racing and say, this car might go seven, six fifties with just a drag pack stock and some good air. So we'll see what happens when we get there. Um, you know, I'm going to transfer a couple parts from my, I have another GT 500 right now. It's a Whipple full build, you know, 12, 1300 horsepower type deal. Um, I haven't really been paying much attention to it. I want to start with the stock stuff on this car and work up to that level so you guys can see what, you know, I didn't really document all that stuff on my other cars. I bought this car to document it so I have like a journal now. Uh, that's what I'm using this channel as, as I've mentioned, I'm using it as a journal. So um, I'm impressed overall. Um, I'm happy to, get, to, to be back into a, a GT500. Uh, as with all of these newer cars, they take some time to learn, you know, even with the, my 2024 Mustang, you know, yes, I said the results that I had were from some of the mods I was making, but it's all, it's everything. It's cool air. It's learning the car better. I considered making one more pass, but that 687 was so perfect. And in my opinion, so fast, I'm going to leave those stock results for this car, 60 to 130 at a 687. I'll get a clean dig hit on a little concrete patch or something when I get the forge lines on the car, then we can see what this thing really has in it. Then I can run the quarter mile out through the 130 and we can, you know, on the other cars where I'm getting all the results in one hit. That's what I want to see. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. So, uh, stay tuned and you guys are going to see some fast stuff coming up soon. Thanks. Thank you.